Watch how I turned this into this. What's up, guys? It's your girl, Coach Salter. And guess what? I'm gonna build a foyer table. Yeah, entry table. Hey, I'm excited. I'm gonna put a little clip on what it's supposed to be looking like. And I'm gonna get it in, right? Got the, got the products. This right here is the first half, first day. And yeah, let's get started. All right, guys, if you would like the full step-by-step -step guide on how to build a foyer table like the one that I built, please leave the comment step-by-step -step in the comment section down below, and I'll make sure I get you guys that video, how to do this foyer table. I truly believe y'all can build this yourself. It's a great, great, great project. I'm so proud of it. And yeah, y'all leave a comment down below. Y'all wait, just wait, just wait to the end to see the final results. Y'all, <laughs> I gotta redo the frame, the beginning foundation of the freaking foyer table, y'all. It's no one's fault. Um, we just feel that it would be better if the measurements for how tall the foyer table I mean we tried and tried and tried and it is just it's ideal for it to be that particular um height so hey it is what it is that just means there's really much um we can do but do it again Everything, all the members are being changed. So, yeah, let's get it. All right, y'all. So, just got done um, redoing the gluing of the legs, or well, the foundation of the legs. Um, got to let it sit for 24 hours. So. Um, like I said earlier, had returned it, got a recut, all of a sudden third, and now we're working with the new. What's up guys, I'm back. This is day three basically. Um, this glue has been sitting for 48 hours. Hours. Um, wasn't able to get to it the other day. So this should be good to go to hold firm so I can um, countersink and then put in those screws, okay? We're gonna start part two, all right? First step is getting this upright so I can... You feel me? Let's go. If you want it, you can let me know. I, I'm about to try to ask it ain't wobbly either. Ooh, it's a fire. Yeah. yeah.
And like I said, guys, if you would like the full in-depth step-by-step video on how to build this for your table that I am building in this video, please leave the comment step-by-step -step down in the comment section below. I will give you guys in detail the measurements and exactly how to build this table. In case you're wondering what this book is I'm reading, yes, you've guessed it. It is my journal and I jot it down. Everything step by step on how to build this for your table, y'all. Like that journal is the formula to this for your table. And I can't wait to share it with you guys. Please leave the comment step by step down in the comment section below and I'm gonna give y'all the full video. Alright y'all, so I'm taking a little break, like letting this glue dry, and then we're gonna go from there. Alright? Alright, so here is probably day four or five on this project because obviously I have to work. But um if you see closely, you see how it's kind of bending at the top so what i'm doing is i'm going in with this nail gun um i wish i could have done the nail gun the day of but obviously i don't have a nail gun and i had to um go up to lowe's and rent this nail gun but yeah it's ideal if you have it same day you're putting that um plank on there so So just kind of wanted to see what we were working with here and it's looking great. I mean, 
but obviously there's still more to go but yeah for that part i mean it's looking good it's got a few more things up to do and it'll be done Y'all, I ain't gonna lie, this day I was tired. It was probably like maybe a week in to the project. And I literally just got off of work at six o'clock in the morning. And I just knew it would just be best to go ahead and start then. Cause I'm just trying to get this project over with at this point. But um, the freaking plank fell off. Like the glue did not hold it. So I had to prop it up, ricochet, prop it up and just go ahead and drill these, um wood screws in so that's what i'm working on right now All right, guys, this is how everything's looking. Stay tuned for the sanding and the stains, so, and paint and all that. Um, what all I did today was I placed, I placed this piece up there and I put some wood fill all in the holes and all that so I'll be sanding it soon and yeah that's what we got it's looking great it's looking wonderful it's looking beautiful and guess what it's not wobbly What's up guys, today is day 139.2.0 day of me 
building this. I'm just kidding. No, it's, uh, you know, I don't know what day it is, okay? I don't know what day it is. But just know, I be taking breaks in between because I got a life. I got a job. I got stuff to do. But I got some time to work on it. So, um, that's what I'm about to do right now. Um, so, what's left right now is, for some reason, the wood at the bottom has, like, started bending out. I don't know why it's doing that. I don't know if it's because it's out here in this garage um, and the heat and all that or if the nails got screwed a little bit. Not screwed, but if the nails got um, shot in a little bit too deep at the top versus at the bottom. I really not know knowing what's going on. So I'm going to use a 80 grit sand um, paper and I'm going to sand that area down. Um, just that area. And then obviously I'm gonna go over the whole thing with 120, 220 grit. Okay. Okay. But yeah, let's get into the video. Go. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, let's check out my bed though. All right, so here's a close-up of the discrepancy that I will be fixing with the sandpaper. But you see how the wood is sticking out at the bottom? Like, it didn't catch that plank back there. And I rented the nail gun, so had to give it back. And obviously, I'll be sanding that top part up there anyways and putting more wood filler in there because I had ran out of wood filler. But I had to buy some more. But yeah, you see the parts that I'm talking about? Even there at the bottom, it was kind of poking out a little bit. But I'm about to take care of that here in just a minute. No biggie. Let's get to it. And guys, keep in mind, as a DIYer, y'all have to understand especially if you haven't done a certain project before discrepancies will happen things will happen especially if you don't know you know what i mean and like i said it's my first time ever building for your table i've done diys before but i've never done a for your table so keep that in mind with any project that you do discrepancies will happen like i've built a staircase for the storage in the back discrepancies happen so Y'all must know, like, dealing with wood and dealing with certain things, discrepancies will happen. Some planks are bended out. Some planks are perfectly straight. Some planks get cut shorter than the other. So keep in mind, things happen, and you have to make do with what you have and fix it. Get it right. Do what you have to do to fix it. And that's what we're doing right now. And a little bit of sanding, obviously, for the final touches. And you guys will see the end results when I'm done.
All right, y'all. This is a wrap for today. Um, next up, stain. So that's done, y'all. Um, here is an update on the fixes. As you can see, it's flush now. I put that wood filler up there. Got that leveled out perfectly. As you can see. Fixed up to make sure that was level. Sandpaper did a great, great job there. Even at the bottom. Looks great, y'all. It looks great. That sandpaper really did good on that. So, yeah, that's it, y'all. Just got to sand it and we in the game. What's up, guys? I'm back and it's day who cares <laughs> on this foyer table. Um, all that's left is another bit of sanding um, and staining. I'm excited. Let's get into it because I ain't got time all day. <laughs> so I went back to resend the front board. Um, when we put it in the house at a specific angle, I was able to see that where I was sanding it to try to get it flushed with the side planks, I sand down more than the middle portion. So I had to go over the middle portion to make that super straight as well. So it didn't look like a hump going through it. But anyways, I was able to get that fixed and situated. And yeah, let's get the staining. And by the way, this is a beautiful, beautiful color stain.
I like it. So here are the final touches. And it's beautiful, y'all. The rustic look, the stain just makes it look just super natural. The color, I mean, this is a beauty, y'all. A beauty. And it was homemade, y'all. Like blood, sweat, and tears. You hear me? Beautiful. Beautiful work. I'm so proud of myself for doing this. The inspirations, they were helpful as well. I mean, beautiful project. Well done. Well, well done. All right, guys, this is the final look with some fall decorations because it is now fall. Guys, this table is phenomenal. You want this piece in your home, okay? I'm so proud of this work. I'm so grateful for even being able to create this table. And yeah, I mean, guys, if you want a step-by-step tutorial on how to build this exact table that I built please leave the comments step by step in the comment section below and I'll make sure I get that video for you guys but yes tell me how I did y'all like what I just built this phenomenal for your table thank you guys so much for watching and supporting me if y'all have any more DIY requests, y'all leave it in the comment section below. And yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and follow me on my socials. Bye!